right, new edition fans. Now, um, this was announced about sometime last week, but I love in the middle of doing have and have not videos, just kind of sprinkling in some real world news, whether it be politics, which I rarely do, um, racism, the, um, you know, the uh, Me Too movement or whatever's going on with that. And uh, just big news in general. Now, new edition hasn't officially broken up. It's pretty much that instead of the uh, big tour that was promised after the new edition story back in 2017, um, you know, more infighting and disagreements amongst the group. Now it seems like Bell, Biff DeVoe and Bobby Brown have teamed up and they have their own four man group that they're going to be doing tours with. Um, and actually I had a sweet looking ad that I want to post on the screen here. I love I love the jacket that uh, Ronnie's wearing. Really has that a uh, thriller or beat it jacket feel to it. And pretty much it's just like the song "Cool It Now." It's like Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Ricky, and Mike. They got their own group. And, you know they're going to do their own thing, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, I think that a uh, Ralph, Johnny Gill, and um, Keith Sweat are going to be performing as well together. I don't know if many would call it like an LSG. You know, um, Lavert Sweat Gill from the, uh, what was it, the late 90s, early 2000s. And um, it is kind of disappointing that New Edition isn't going on the tour. Like, I think I mentioned this in a video I did a couple of weeks ago about, you know, like the New Edition tour is canceled. I mean, we kind of figured that was, was the case, but uh, Michael Bibbins finally addressed it in an interview. But I think Ricky Bell pretty much posted on like Instagram or whatever that, you know, Hey, we're still family, but there are disagreements in families and um, the people who are here in this four man group are those who want to be here. So obviously, you know, there's some disagreements still going off in the group today, which is understandable because if you paid attention to the movie and heck, if we even go back years ago to um, uh, new additions behind the music. And then there was a series called Life After that Bell Biv DeVoe was on. Uh, Bobby Brown had his behind the music special and Johnny Gill was on TV one's unsung. If you look at all those specials, you know that they'll just talk about how, hey, being a group is awesome. But there are just a lot of things we went through, whether it be the managers and our contracts uh, with our record labels and then the infighting in the group, the home again tour, which I would love to see a movie on just that. You reminded me of the Temptations come back to a reunion tour where, you know, like David Ruffin, he just. What that's the point where he died eventually, you know, from drugs and whatnot. But yeah, it really reminded me of that, you know, like the group finally got back together because their own solo careers were fizzling out. But then things were even worse than they were to begin with. And that's really crazy when you think about it. But I would really love to see Ralph Tresvant give an interview. Like when I say give an interview, we don't need to know everything that's going on in the group because we know there's problems. I would just love for like, you know, the group Brooke Payne to get together. And it's really sad because the movie, they all came together to work on the film and it was a hit. Now, can you imagine the success of a new album and the tour? And I understand that there's still problems because they said in interviews like on The Breakfast Club and whatnot that, you know what? Hey, uh, there are some unresolved issues and heck some of the things that we argued about back in like the 70 the 80s and 90s and even the 70s we didn't know the other person's perspective until we looked at the script so things from 20 30 years ago they're just now um you know kind of opening up those debates and you know talking it out but obviously things didn't work out whether it be they couldn't decide on the same manager, the, the way to promote the tour and things like that. Because I know that uh, uh, Belle Bib DeVoe, they were on The Breakfast Club not long after the movie aired. And I love going back and watching Johnny Gill and um, Belle Bib DeVoe. They both have two separate interviews on The Breakfast Club. And uh, Ronnie made a good point. Is like the thing about it is when we all broke apart and did our own solo acts, Belle Bib DeVoe, Ralph Tresvant, Bobby Brown, Johnny Gill... When we come back together, it's more difficult than ever because you got the egos and success. Everybody has their own percep perception and perspective of what makes a successful album, what makes a successful tour. And everyone's reasoning is valid because, you know, I did my thing, 5 million albums. I did my thing, 10 million albums. And, you know, it is pretty difficult when you have those egos and not to mention bad blood from childhood to where you are now.
But the problem is, it's like, look, I can completely understand. I'm 26 years old. There are some people like, you know, I'm at the point in my life where if somebody does something that pisses me off or uh, it's one of those things where if you're not adding to my life, whether it be spiritually, financially, uh, mentally, uh, even like health wise, you know, like, you know, um, contributing like stress and all that stuff then I really don't have a reason for you to be in my life if you're doing nothing but taking away from it by, you know, always asking for money or um, uh, every time we fight, it's a, the argument about something. You know what I mean? Those people, especially if it's online, we live in a day and age where you don't have to take it. All it takes is like one click of a button and they're gone, block them or whatever the case may be. But you, looking at new edition, it's kind of like, look, you all, for the most part, most of y'all are like, you know, married, you have kids. You owe it to them to put whatever differences you have aside, go on this tour, make that paper. That way you can provide for your families, because I think it's a darn shame that um, their families are going to miss out on a, you know, a nice, you know, college tuition and whatnot, just because their pa- their fathers and whatnot can't get together to do this one tour. I mean, uh, hopefully it wouldn't be a home again 2.0 where it's like a bigger disaster than it was back in the uh, 90s when they did it. And um, we wouldn't we wouldn't want to see that, especially in the social media age now. Come on, because, you know, there's only rare snippets of the home again tours. It is on YouTube. But in this day and age, my God, it will be man. But at the same time, yes, I can understand why they aren't together at the moment, but I just feel like they missed out or are are missing out on a golden opportunity to make a huge ba- um, load of money. Like you, we got the Bobby Brown story coming out in September. If I'm not mistaken, Lifetime has like a Bobby Christina film coming out soon. If it hasn't come out already, maybe they'll get their acts together by the time the Bobby Brown story, maybe with the success of the Bobby Brown story, that's when it's like, yo man, okay, we got to definitely get back together now and jump on that and, you know, make this tour because the public, the fans want to see it. I don't, I wish they could just bury the hatchet, not in each other just for now. After this one tour, this one album, do, uh, retire, go do your own thing. No more new edition. But, hey, you could let the next generation, like the cast members from the film, they could pick up the mantle and do their own thing. The youngins and the adults in the film, they did a great job. But, yeah, with that being said, these are just my thoughts on the, um, um, you know, not the new edition breakup because they haven't officially broken up. New edition is still new edition. It's just that when it comes to the current tours going around, all six of them will not be present. Ricky, oh, excuse me, Ralph and Johnny are going to be on other tour. But then you got Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike doing their own thing. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think they should just let things go for right now to do this one tour and album and then split? Or do you think that, hey, they've always had bad blood in one uh, form or another. So it's understandable why they aren't together today.